Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and if you've been gaming away happily on your PC, but you keep finding that you get stability issues where your games crash and you get this out of video memory error, or other problems with crashes and blue screens, it could be down to your motherboard and your CPU combination. If you have an Asus motherboard and a Core i9-14900K or a 13900K, and it's worth downloading the latest BIOS and tweaking a couple of settings. And this is really easy to do. If you don't know how to update a BIOS, I'll leave a link in the description with the full details on how to do this. But if you look at this one, which is the gaming Wi-Fi 2 that I happen to have, the latest BIOS update includes Intel factory default settings, which is Intel baseline profile option, which then enables more stability in your system with ease. I easily update your BIOS and then go into the BIOS and obviously re-enable XMP and resizable bar and anything else that you might have had on as standard. But then we just need to tweak one easy setting. And I actually found during testing, which I've gone into a lot more depth on in a separate video, that this setting change makes life much better. So under AI Tweaker, you'll see there's an option for Intel baseline profile, and you'll see that this helps with stability. Now it does potentially negatively impact performance, but I've actually found that it doesn't. My FPS has barely dropped, the CPU is actually running cooler, and overall the system stability is much, much better. This is a really nice, easy fix. Now it does lead to some current throttling, but there's no thermal throttling from what I've seen, which is a nice upgrade from the original BIOS. And so that makes it wonderful in this way. You can check with Intel's XTU stress testing tools, but it is worth noting that Intel also has some separate recommendations which actually have higher wattage requirements and thereby potentially offer better performance if you want to go in and tweak more of the settings. I've done a video in a lot more depth on this that I'll link to in the description. But essentially, this involves some more manual tweaking, which you might not be comfortable with, where the Azus BIOS update basically lets you press one button to optimize stability and makes it a lot more straightforward. So there's a couple of different options that you can use, but updating your BIOS to the latest version and then tweaking that setting is going to make the biggest difference and the quickest and easiest one. You'll see that the Intel updates have current throttled my system and give a little bit more thermal throttling, but then do improve performance with more FPS. So it's a trade off. But your experience may vary depending on your system setup, your cooling, your fans and other things as well. And otherwise, hopefully it will help you get on and game happily. And if it does, let me know down below in the comments because that will help other people as well. Thanks for watching. You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.